Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you freshman logical thinking mid-exam question. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Course. Logic and critical thinking. Low CT. 1011. Part 1. Write true if the statement is correct or write false if the statement is incorrect and write your answers on the answer sheet provided. 1.5 points. 1. Rationalism and empiricism are the only schools of thought in epistemology. The answer is false. 2. The existence of indicator word can guarantee the existence of argument. The answer is false. 3. Empirical knowledge claims humans are capable of arriving at irrefutable knowledge, independently of sensory experience. The answer is false. 4. Inductive arguments having all true premises are cogent arguments. The answer is true. 5. A deductive argument with actually true premises and actually false conclusion is always invalid. The answer is true. 6. A good argument does not try to mislead, nor does it omit warranted, relevant evidence. The answer is true. Part 2. Choose the most appropriate answer and write the letter of your correct choice on the space provided. 1. 5 points. 1. Which one of the following statement is incorrect? A. Because of its universality philosophy is incomprehensible. B. Questioning is one of the essential attribute of philosophy. C. Philosophical questions do not have clear-cut solutions. D. Criticism is the ultimate objective of philosophy. E. A. And C. F. A. And D. The answer is A. 2. Which branch of philosophy is considered as the methodology of philosophy? A. Metaphysics. B. Epistemology. C. Axiology. D. Logic. The answer is D. 3. After examining DNA evidence found at the crime scene, Dr. Jacobs, a highly qualified forensic biologist, says that Alex Foster could not have committed the crime. Therefore, we conclude that Foster is innocent. A. Inductive, weak. B. Deductive, invalid. C. Deductive, valid. D. Inductive, strong. The answer is D. 4. Which one of the following is sound deductive argument? A. Exploration of the surface of the Mars has produced some surprising facts. Therefore, Exploration of the surface of Jupiter will produce some surprising facts. B. Since Kenanisa is a good athlete, Kenanisa's brother must be a good athlete also. C. The sun is a star. Mars is a star. Therefore, Mars is a sun. D. All dogs are mammals. All mammals have kidneys. Therefore, all dogs have kidneys. The answer is D. 5. One of the following questions is not primarily the question of axiology. A. What is the nature of ultimate reality? B. What is the right thing to do? C. What is beauty? D. What political system is best? The answer is A. 6. One is not a philosophical question? A. What is truth? B. Why is there anything at all? C. Where does knowledge come from? D. What is justice? E. None of the above. The answer is E. Seven. Which one of the following is not correct concerning inductive and deductive reasoning? A. In an inductive argument. The conclusion contains more information than the premises. B. In a deductive argument, the conclusion is all about the information contained in the premises. C. Most arguments based on statistical reasoning are inductive. D. 
Inductive arguments always proceed from the particular to the general. The answer is D. 8. Which of the following is a necessary condition for graduating from college? A. Fulfilling the course requirements. B. Wearing a cap and gown. C. Receiving gifts from family members. D. Showing up for all your classes. E. Attending the graduation ceremony. The answer is A. 9. Which of the following are all arguments? A. Warnings, conditional statements, statements of belief. B. Expository passages, reports, pieces of advice. C. Predictions, categorical syllogisms, arguments from signs. D. Propositions, analogies, inferences. E. Illustrations, syllogisms, explanations. The answer is D. 10. Why we need to ask and philosophize about human beings, nature, and supernatural being. A. Because philosophizing will enable us to question and examine critically about the foundations of deeply held social, moral, and religious values. B. To ignore abstract thinking so that we focus on concretely existing human problems. C. To invalidate all the knowledge so far accumulated and develop a new one. D. To liberate oneself and others from the prison of ignorance by declaring autonomous thinking. E, A, and D, F, all except C. The answer is C. 11. If organic food contains pesticides, then consumers are misled. Organic food does not contain pesticides. Therefore, consumers are not misled. A, deductive, invalid. B, deductive, Valid. C. Inductive. Weak. D. Inductive. Strong. The answer is A. 12. One is correct about strong inductive arguments? A. If we assume that the premises are true, the conclusion will probably be true. B. The conclusion of inductive argument doesn't go beyond the limit of the premises. C. If we assume that the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. D. The link between the premises and the conclusion is a matter of necessity. The answer is D.